Psalm 22 is a, a song that's to be sung when life is hard. Many Christians will have sung this over the years. Jesus Christ, he ultimately knew it so very well. As it begins, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Those very famous words that Jesus spoke on the cross as he quoted this psalm. And there at the beginning and the first part of the psalm, we see this incredible prophetic picture of what it was like for Jesus to suffer there on that Roman cross. The specific details that are given are, are astonishing. Verse 18, just listen to this. They divide my clothes, casting lots. Remember as the Roman soldiers gambled for Jesus' clothes. And so it's a picture uh, ultimately of what Jesus Christ suffered and went through for us. And yet also it's, it's a picture for God's people that will suffer and struggle at times. Now, of course, not like Jesus Christ. We're not called to suffer for sins. And yet we are called and called to be prepared to suffer for Jesus Christ. We're told uh, as members who belong to the Church of Christ that as we suffer with him, wonderfully though also, we will be glorified with him. Because look at the huge turnaround in verse 19. So at the moment of real depths of despair... There's hope and trust still. But you, Lord, do not be far from me. You are my strength. Come quickly to help me. And we know Jesus, his final words on the cross as he cried out to God the Father. He said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. He had nowhere else to turn, nowhere else to go. And yet he trusted implicitly in his father, even at that most awful moment. That's what we're to do as Christians as well when we're facing hard times. Rest in him, trust in him, believe in him. Because wonderfully, what happened to Jesus on that first Easter Sunday? He was raised back to life because he was heard by his father and all of God's children are promised to be heard by him. The rest of the verses to the end of the psalm speak of that amazing help and deliverance that comes for all of those who trust him. And look at these amazing words that it finishes with in verse 31. He has done it. Oh, let's understand a little bit more again of what Jesus went through for us. And yet even when we suffer ourselves, Let's understand that he will bring us through. If he raised his son back to life, we, his children, also will be heard and saved.